Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So late last night, while everyone was sleeping, Amberlynn graced us with an Instagram Q&A, and I am super excited. We know her attitude in these is so positive, and I just love reading them and commenting on them with you guys. So let's just get right into it shall we all right her first question is is it true that you had 5,000 milligrams of sodium in your what i ate today video and she says god no that's about how much i have during a binge not a normal day of eating to be exact i had 2590 milligrams of sodium which is 290 more than recommended but i'm okay with that you'd be surprised how much sodium you eat in a day when you aren't logging what you eat and all i have to say about this is remember her main complaint about the weight loss doctor it was that the diet was too much sodium and to be honest those veggies nuggets while good contain quite a lot of sodium but she has no problem eating them so this person says why did you eat an entire bag of nuggets hmm. why can't you eat half the bag and be good see like I said in yesterday's video I have usually have about 10 of them and I am quite satisfied for my last meal, I wanted to have about 600 to 700 calories. That's what my calorie goal was for that time of the day, and I chose nuggets. <laughs> I could have had half the bag with something else, but I didn't want anything else. Either way, I would have had the same amount of calories no matter what I ate. It wasn't even that many nuggets anyway. Um, it was like 16 or 17 nuggets in my opinion that's kind of a lot maybe to you it's not but i'm not a doctor so any more torrid hauls coming up i don't have any planned for any time soon and you know i am very disappointed because i absolutely love the torrid hauls you still go to cheesecake factory haven't been there since i vlogged that one time there with becky dana and destiny um, do you guys remember? I think that was in November. They went to the Cheesecake Factory, and it was sort of like a double date situation. You're pretty great. Don't listen to the negativity. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. So there is some Am Babies still out there. Do you realize how absolutely amazing you are? No, but thank you. Yeah, there are still some people holding on, you guys. What do you plan on doing different in 2020? Not giving a beep what other people think. Just do me and trust the process. So you heard it here first, you guys. She is not going to be listening to any of our advice. She's got this. It's worked out in the past for her. So that's our plan. <laughs> I think your face looks a lot slimmer. Great job. That's because it is. But thank you, love. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I get a couple comments. Some people say her face looks slimmer. The majority of the comments say that they don't see any progress at all. And, you know, the thing is, when she has said it in her vlog before that when she uses her camera like her actual camera it is more slimming than her iphone camera and she has been using her camera camera more will you try uploading daily soon i miss your videos probably not i don't have enough to show or say and let's be thankful for that you guys she doesn't have to daily upload and i am totally okay with that <laughs> Have you ever thought about doing a live debate with any of the reaction channels? Would be interesting. She would get absolutely destroyed by just about anybody, especially because the entire chat would not be on her side. No, because they're biased and blinded by how they already feel. Trust me, I've seen the reaction channels. No matter what I say, their opinion stays the same. So a, day, a debate on my life would be absolutely absurd. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, she would make a fool out of herself completely. So 
I mean, as hilarious as it would be, if I was her PR team, I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> Hi, are you counting your cal carbohydrate intake as well? Nope. Guys, she's not doing keto ever. Uh, why won't you let Becky leave you? Becky is more than free to leave me if she wanted to. I'd never have someone stay in a relationship with me if they didn't want to be. I mean, you did try to bribe Destiny with presents and you admitted to that. Becky's smart, kind, and willing to do what she believes is right for her. Sorry that it's so hard for you to believe that someone could love me. Um, nobody said that, girl. How come you always say it works for me when clearly it hasn't for years? Just because something works for me doesn't mean I'm going to follow through with it. That's why nothing has stuck for years, because I wouldn't let it. I have an addiction I'm working on. And she claims that she is ready to do it this time for her and not listen to anybody. And that is, um, I think that's like the first step when it comes to an addiction is admitting, well, that is actually the first step. If you do the 12 steps is admitting you have a problem and, you know, coming to terms with that. So I feel like she said that before, but here we are. You said you hadn't had diet soda in months, but then you said you and Becky like diet root beer lately. Oh my gosh. I love diet root beer. I'm not trying to be rude, but clearly you weren't listening to what I said. I hadn't had diet soda in months, but a few weeks ago I craved a diet soda and had one. <laughs> I felt no regret. It hasn't stalled my weight loss, so I decided that if I want one one day, I'm going to. Well, a couple little investigators found quite a lot of Diet Pepsi in her fridge, and those could be for Becky. They could be for Eric or Ricky. Um, in fact, those are my favorite Diet Pepsis, but... um. <laughs> she just said yesterday that she had a Diet Root Beer. I don't think that that is... All that bad. Will Becky be in any upcoming vlog slash videos? We miss her. She was just in yesterday's girl. Oh, that's sweet, but probably not. She hates being on videos now. My newest video was a simple hello because she's doing so well. I needed to quell the rumor and speculation. Okay, she didn't say that. She was fine with that, but other than that, she's pretty much done with YouTube for now. People are way too cruel, and she doesn't like it. I don't blame her. Um, Girl, you kind of caused all this. You're in control of the camera, and you didn't have to film her when she was obviously at her worst. So this time, it's on you. Just saying. Why did you forget to film your last meal? What were you busy with? I was busy eating. <laughs> I had forgot I was filming a video that day. It's an easy thing to forget. I don't really understand that. I mean, if YouTube is all you got going on, if that's your main priority and that's what's bringing you all the coin, you would think it would be on your mind a lot more than someone who just kind of casually uploads. So I don't really understand that, to be honest. I don't know. Just shows her commitment. Do you think the comments influence the way you act in your videos? Is that a million percent? Yeah. A million percent. <laughs> I can't. Really? Because I thought you said you don't read them and you're not listening to them. Do you still have a UTI? No. You guys, she's cured of that UTI, that, like, three-month UTI. You or Becky watch any anime? She does sometimes. I've been reading manga lately. I used to years and years ago, but I stopped, so I got back into it again. You know, to be honest, it's nice that they can share something together because usually Amberlynn shrugs off all of Becky's interests, so... It's kind of nice to see her, you know, dabbling in Becky's love for all things Japanese. I love Jap Jap Japanese, too. 
Honestly, Amberlynn, I really love your videos. They make me smile knowing I'm not alone. Oh, that's really nice to hear. You'll never be alone. There's plenty of people. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm asking for the seventh time. How the how do you eat frozen grapes? Buy grapes, clean the grapes, put them in the freezer, put one in your mouth. Once frozen, chew, swallow. You know, I'm gonna have to guess that they think that, you know, they're a little too hard on your teeth. But of course, Amberlynn had to give that wonderful answer. I love frozen grapes though. They're fine to eat. Just let them sit out for five minutes. What part of California did you live in? Sonoma County. I have no idea really where that is. Do you think you should quit YouTube given the stress it puts on Becky and you? It's You seem stressed when you film. For the most part, most jobs stress people out. That's not a good enough reason to quit. If that was the case, no one would have jobs. And I actually have to agree with her here. Um, to be honest, this is kind of the only thing she can do right now. Uh, in all seriousness. And she's doing well. <laughs> What's your favorite song right now? Lost You to Love, It's Lose You to Love Me by Selena Gomez. Mainly because it gives me goosebumps whenever I hear it. When I watch the music video, I cry. It's beautifully done. And I have to agree. <laughs> um, I love Selena Gomez. I don't understand why people hate diet soda. It's zero calories. I mean, truth. Probably the ingredients, but... I would rather have one diet soda than binge 6,000 calories any day. Yeah, I don't see. If she wants to have one diet soda a day, that is perfectly fine, in my opinion. I mean, she lost 89 pounds once and drank diet soda all the time, so... <laughs> Why are you super rude and condescending when doing these? I'm not. I'm sorry if I come off that way. How can you be so, like, delusional that you just don't see that at all? If you had to pick either Zach or Michael to react to you from now on, who would you choose? Michael. Zach used to be my friend a long time ago. It was nothing serious, but it was also a slight betrayal. It shocked me more than anything. I don't even know Michael. <laughs> That's so funny. How much have you lost so far? Not enough, apparently. I look bigger every video, according to some people. Um, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. We're not there. You're not there. You don't know everything that goes on in my life. Stop. I've never met anyone that has an excuse for everything like you do. Excuses, reasons, same thing. I don't think so, girl. No question. Just wanted to say, I'm so proud of you and the progress you're making. Thank you so much. You're amazing. The Am Babies really came out today, you guys. Do you allow people who meet you to take pics with you? Of course I do. I think the rumor and speculation comes from the fact that no pictures have ever surfaced except for that one <laughs> except for that video of her like climbing out of the vet's office <laughs> and that was like a stalker video <laughs> how much weight have you lost if you actually did you shouldn't have a big deal telling I don't have to prove myself to anyone. I'll do a weigh-in video when I'm ready. Like I've been saying. Why won't you stay off social media and take care of your health? Social media and health have nothing to do with one another. Um, mental health? There is many studies that link social media and poor mental health. So I have to disagree. 
Um, but if we're talking physical health, I mean, hey, it is what it is. I love you so much. Please respond. I have been watching you since 2016. I love you. Thank you for the support. You know, the thing is, is these four, what was it, 4 a.m. babies so far? That has to be all of them, because I can imagine she would want to respond to all the AM babies just because it's such a small group. How can you forget your filming when it, that is your work? Going to work equals working. <laughs> Guys, she doesn't exactly know what a normal work schedule is. YouTubers always forget they're filming when they do it for a minute. I haven't filmed a What I Ate Today video in some time, so it slipped my mind. I don't think it matters much. I didn't stop the video. I still said what I ate. I mean, you have to be really forgetful. If your plan for that day was to film what I ate today, and that was all you had to do that day, I just, I don't buy it. You shouldn't eat just to reach the calorie goal. As you said, I needed 600 more calories. This is how I'm succeeding following this. Everyone loses weight differently. This is what I'm doing. Plus, I didn't force myself to eat. I was hungry, which I get more hungry at night, so I save about 900 calories for dinner and a snack. Um, to be honest, I think that she probably should stick to something that is very regimented and perhaps by having this meal, it saved her from a binge. I don't know exactly, but it's working. <laughs> Maybe you could make another video at a job. You'd be asked to redo something of poor quality. OMG, it's just YouTube, LOL. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just filming. Not that big of a deal. You're just nitpicking at this point, which is kind of dumb. If I was at a normal job, trust me, my work would be a lot different. Like I said, YouTube isn't serious. What's serious is what is going on in this world. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes she has to say, like, YouTube is my job. Did you reach your daily goal of steps? Some days I bypass it. Some days I don't, which are the days I don't wear my Apple Watch normally. As long as I reach 1 million by the end of the year, it doesn't matter which days I do what. I have to say, um, she never wears it, so we're not getting off to a very good start, are we? Why is Twinkie's name Twinkie? The people who had her before me named her. I thought she said, um... It's because she looked like a Twinkie. Didn't she say that before? Wait, you referred to YouTube as a job in one story, but said it wasn't in another. I'm just a little confused. I never said YouTube wasn't a job. I'm just getting super defensive. I just said that some jobs aren't as serious. Being a YouTuber, you get to post what you want whenever you want, like at 2 a.m. I can literally sit and just stare at the camera if I wanted. Uh, no, 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 you can't. It's not that serious. <laughs> she wants to be taken seriously as a YouTuber some days. Do you think 2020 is your year? Is that a mask over the face emoji? Definitely. I've never lost weight this much consecutively since I started YouTube over six years ago. I think I found what works for me. Not only that, I finally realized that I need to do this now or else I'll die in a few years. People have been telling you that for a few years, but I guess we finally found what works for us. So is she um, coming in on that 89 LBs or you're not better than anyone. So stop with the rudeness and attitude. <laughs> You're joking, right? Girl, you just proved their point in the first sentence. I get slammed on a daily basis, but the minute I act like a human being in response to condescending questions, I'm rude. Don't answer them then. You know, you have total control of an Instagram Q&A. Complete control.
But you had normal jobs and would hide in the bathroom to avoid working. I hid in the bathroom during panic attacks. Should I have had those out in the public eye? Public eye? Probably not. My boss told me to go to the restroom if I ever thought a panic attack was happening. Mental health is just as important as a sickness. If you're going to puke, I sure hope you head to the bathroom to do it in the toilet. You know, what boss told her to hide in the bathroom and didn't say, you know, come speak with me or someone else? Little strange. Little strange. Why does your bio say Greg? It's an inside thing between Becky and I. I'm Andrew. She's Greg. <laughs> People always ask that. Who do you play usually in Mario Kart? Peach. I usually play as Rosalina. Another Anne baby. Surprise, surprise. Girl, are you doing keto? No, and I never will. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> she will never, ever, 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 ever do keto. And at this point, I think it's like just an F you to all the people who told her to try it. All right, we don't care. Can't wait until Dana cheats on you like Destiny did. Wait, what? <laughs> this whole sentence is a mess. And girl, you know what they meant. I want to hear you address it again. <laughs> Nuggets, gravy, ice cream, no fruits, very few veggies. How is that healthy? <laughs> it's also about the quality. I don't like fruit that much, so I don't really eat it. Of course it's about the quality. I could have had candy instead of broccoli. A Big Mac instead of turkey meatballs. French fries instead of cauliflower mash. The list could go on and on. I'm a work in progress, oh and FYI. I never said it was healthy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> People are so annoying, nitpicking. I'm sorry you have to deal with so much abuse. Hearts. Thank you, I'll be okay. They never notice what they're doing though. They gotta find a way to escape their sadness and hatred for themselves. I'm just their punching bag. At least they're doing it to me and not someone else. Oh, she's such a martyr, you guys. Lay on that sword. Kentucky or California? I mean, California girls are so fun and un something like that. What celeb do you think has the best body? Demi Lovato. Hands down. Have you seen her recently? Damn. It's Lovato, but okay. <laughs> Lovato. Have you taken Twinkie to the vet? I'm going to keep asking, so just answer the question. Yeah, I take her a few times a year, unless needed to go more frequently. Same with my cats. I don't buy it. You should do a side-by-side -side of that photo from Eric's birthday, which was shocking. And the current you. When you're ready, of course. Gonna do that right now. Never thought about doing it. <laughs> That was probably Amberlynn at her most shocking. Do you really have bipolar disorder? I do. You know, I've heard a certain reaction channel that is no longer here. No longer do. They're still here. Um, they're just no longer doing videos. They have bipolar disorder and they claim that Amberlynn does not. But I am not a doctor, so I cannot make that call. What do you guys think of Amberlynn's Instagram Q&A? That was a doozy. That was crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the <gasps> next one. Bye, guys. Thank you guys for the end of the video. We are doing a little mini candle haul. <laughs> I just got a couple candles and I thought I'd share them with you guys. Thank you for making it this far in the video. This one that we are burning today is the Champagne Toast. It is so good. I actually 
um, heard of it because I watched Smoky Glow and she seems to always have a champagne toast and I know why now. The other one that we got was Mahogany Teakwood and this is the high intensity version because the one like they used to have just regular Mahogany Teakwood and it just didn't smell like as much as it should so the high intensity is really good. If you guys never smelled this candle before, it smells exactly like Abercrombie and Fitch. Just that signature scent. And it just takes me back to those good old days. And the last one I got was a online exclusive. It is the Lavender Marshmallow. Mmm. It's really good. It has a bit of like a minty smell as well, like a minty undertone. And the packaging is really cute. It's kind of sparkly, if you guys can see. <laughs> highly, highly recommend all three of these candles. Um, let me know if you guys made it this far in the video. <laughs> so random. Bye, guys.